everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you hit the bell, you'll be one of the first to know when my videos are released. Thank you so, so much to Top Cash Back for sponsoring today's video. I was at Target the other day and I found this adorable metal Christmas Advent house. And it was a little bit pricey and I thought, you know, I could probably make something pretty similar using Dollar Tree supplies. So I grabbed several of these plastic boxes or organizers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to share with you the supplies and the whole tutorial on how to create your own while staying on a budget. So let's go ahead and get started. So here are the supplies that you'll need to create this project. I have my hot glue gun and glue sticks, a pair of scissors, I grabbed my foam mounting tape, I thought this might come in handy. This is from Dollar Tree, I love that stuff. I also have some spray paint by Rust-Oleum. This is a hammered metal texture and it is in the silver color so it will give this a galvanized look when we're all finished. The main item that you're gonna need is from Dollar Tree. These are plastic organizer boxes and they have these clear plastic lids on the top. Let me see if I can pop this off. So we're not gonna need the lids, but we are gonna need all of the bases and I have seven of those here today. I also have some foam board from Dollar Tree. These are just pieces that I have laying around, so I'm gonna use up what I have, but you can purchase a brand new big sheet and that might be a little bit helpful. You might need to just, be, just to be prepared because um, we're gonna use quite a bit to build this house with. And then I also have a ruler and an X-Acto knife. Now, like I said, we are gonna need seven of these clear plastic organizers with clear lids on them. And I know you guys say you always have trouble finding things, especially whenever I purchase so many for a project like this. And a great way to find items is also use Dollar Tree's website. But if you go through Top Cashback, which is this app right here with the cute little hummingbird on it, you can save even more money by going through their app. It's so simple, you just need your email address and a password to log in. And you can see here that Dollar Tree is within their app and you would save 4% cash back by just clicking on the website through their app. And it says, get cash back now. And you click on this and it will redirect you over to Dollar Tree and you will automatically be given 4% of your purchase back within the app. So here's Dollar Tree's website. I just searched clear organizer. And then you just scroll down through their site and here it is right here. It says essentials clear plastic three compartment storage tray with lid, it's eight by three by two inches. The cool thing about this app is it tells you next to the store how much you'll receive back in commission, which is 4% for Dollar Tree. They have other sites like Target.com that has currently 2.25% cash back, but you can search through eBay, Home Depot, Lowe's, Staples, so many other different stores on their app as well. You can use your Top Cash Back app to save money on your holiday shopping this year. There is no minimum payout, and you will actually receive a $10 Top Cash Back sign up bonus for your first purchase of $25 or more. So make sure to shop the over 4,000 retailers that Top Cash Back has on their app and their website. I will make sure to link down in the description box below a link to where you can sign up today. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is unwrap all of my boxes here, take the lids off. We don't need those, maybe save those because I think they would be super cute for another project. And then I'm gonna play around with the configuration to find something fun that'll look cute for our house and all of those openings. All right, so here's all of my boxes unwrapped and I have all of these lids and I just can't throw them away. So let me know down in the comments if you have ideas of what I could use these for because they just seem like such a waste to get rid of and you guys are so creative. I'd love to hear your ideas. Oh, 
Okay, so here's a look at my configuration. It's a little hard to see since these are clear, but this big square here is kind of what I started and built off of. So there's a piece here and then one sat next to it. One sat on top of it and then one to fill in the space above. And that kind of gave me this big open square in the middle. And then I built off of this. So I sat one off to the side to make this wider. And then I sat one on top of here. So I'll have another square next to it. And then I had one more left. So I offset this to this side and I'll have a rectangle over here. Of course, you guys can play with this and kind of come up with your own design too. That's the fun of it. But now that I have my design, I'm kind of going to scooch it over onto my foam board here. That way I can cut my foam board down to size. Now, obviously, I wish I would have this piece here because it would make my life a little bit easier. If you buy a whole piece, you won't have to do what I'm doing. I'm going to have to piece in the top triangle that's going to go behind the roof. But for this main piece, I'm just going to move all of this over and use what I have instead of purchasing a new one. Always use what you have before you buy new stuff. Um, and then I'm just gonna use my foam tape and hot glue to put all of these trays and glue them to the back and then cut it all out. All right, so I have everything glued down and my foam board cut down to size. I just made sure to make this straight so that it would all line up and make a big rectangle, even though I had some spaces here that didn't have walls. But that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna use some more foam board and basically just box it in. So I'm gonna measure up from the bottom to the top, and that's how wide our walls are gonna be. So I'm gonna make a bottom and two sides, and I think I'm gonna make a top for up here too to close in this rectangle, and then I'll have a shelf on top. And then what we'll do is we'll cut the triangle for the back for the roof, and then make the extra roof pieces for the sides too. All right, so I cut five pieces of foam board. Mine are two and one eighth inches wide, which is just a tiny bit over flush with the plastic containers. I have two, one for each side, one for the bottom, one for the shelf, and then two for the top of the roof. I'm gonna start working on hot gluing them to the sides and in place around this, and we'll work on the roof last. All right, so here is my house all boxed in. And now I'm gonna work on the back of the roof. So the triangle that's gonna go at the top, I'm going to measure the width and basically make a rectangle first. So the bottom will be the right width. And then I'm gonna find the center of the top of the rectangle and cut my angles up to the middle.
All right, so there is the basic shape of our house. It's all glued together, it's all in place, and I'm gonna take it downstairs in the workshop, open up the door and the window, because it is freezing outside. It's definitely not good weather for spray painting, but this definitely needs spray painted versus hand painted, because I think it would just take forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my spray booth set up and get to adding the silver spray paint. All right, so here it is all dry. I added three coats of the hammered metal silver spray paint. And as you can see, the more it kind of pulled in spots, the more it gave it that hammered look. So you wanna be kind of generous with it if you're gonna be using that type of spray paint. And now I'm gonna use a paint pen, or this is actually a chalk marker, to add my numbers to each one of these boxes. And I'm kind of gonna be random with it. I don't want it really to go in order. And I think I want this big one to be my number 25. And then I also want to give the roof a red roof to match the red letters. So I have some red chalk paint that I'll use a foam paintbrush to apply. Some of this garland and some of these wreaths that I've made in the past, I'm gonna take them apart because I'm not using them this year. And I thought it'd be cute to just add a wreath up here in the middle. These are from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm not sure if they have this garland anymore, but you can also find different smaller garlands like this at craft stores. And I basically just wanna make a smaller wreath with the garland and then I'm gonna hot glue it onto the top in the roof part just to give it some more character and some more interest.
Thank you so, so much to Top Cash Back for sponsoring today's video. I'll have more information down in the description box below where you can save money using their app and website. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button next to me. I have more great DIY tutorials below that. And you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram for more inspiration. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.